Alrighty, welcome back to Final Fantathon, our quest to casually let's play every mainline Final Fantasy game, plus some bonuses. You have no idea how happy I am to be here today, because I spent the entirety of yesterday thinking that I wasn't going to be here today, and I was going to have to tell everyone that we didn't have Fantathon this week, and I was going to be real sad, because I've never missed a Fantathon day other than the vacation day. Uh last year but I've never actually missed a Fantathon day believe it or not uh, and I thought for sure I was going to have to miss today and I was really sad about it because I know a lot of people but I mean, we were talking about this on Wednesday because uh, I had to leave like an hour early or two hours early Wednesday and I was telling people like the, the schedule of the stream it means a lot to me, because I know a lot of people depend on the stream, and that's kind of like my biggest thing is consistency. I get emails from people all the time about how they enjoy my stream because it's always here, or the YouTube because the episodes are always up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's something they can rely on. And I really like... I resonate with that because I was the same way back in college I was going through a lot of tough stuff and I had like my certain content creators that I would always lean on and when they weren't there it felt like awful <laughs> you know and so consistency is like the most important thing to me and I always hate it so much when I have to cancel because of something and I know that like life has to come first sometimes but it it's, doesn't mean it doesn't bother me, you know. That's why I have two ISPs now. Because anytime my ISP would go out and I had to cancel stream, it was like the worst feeling ever because I could physically stream, but I just couldn't because the internet was gone. So I got two ISPs to like stop that. I mean, you know, I'm very serious about being consistent. So yeah, so last week I got sick. Um... I got sick on like Wednesday, and you probably remember last Friday I was like all stuffy, but I was okay enough to stream. It's not that like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I've been doing this for pretty much consistently for a very long time. I understand that I'm probably one of the most consistent people on the internet. And I have more videos than, like, any sane person should have on their YouTube. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't bother me, you know what I mean? Like, just because I've been consistent in the path, past doesn't mean it doesn't bother me. Because people depend on it, you know? Like, people now depend on it. I can't just say I was consistent in the past so I can take a break. Like, people depend on it now, it, you know? But anyways, uh, so I got sick last week. And, uh, I started to feel better on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I was, like, completely better, almost. Still stuffy, I still am now, probably tell, but, you know, the cold was pretty much gone. And then Wednesday, I had to stop stream two hours early because I had to pick up my son because my wife had an emergency meeting at work. So that was whatever. And then I woke up Thursday and my ear started to bother me. And I was like, well, that's weird, but it's probably just my sinuses because I had sinus issues with my cold. So I was thinking like, oh... Sinus has probably just moved my ear. I just have an earache today. So, an hour goes by, still hurts. Another hour goes by, starts to hurt real bad. And I'm like, okay, this sucks. <laughs> uh, but again, you know, probably sinuses. Because I was just sick. So, go another hour. It gets to the point where I get a I get a headache because my ear hurts so much. 
and I can't, like, function <laughs> at all. Like, it, it just is this constant pain, and I cannot function. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor. So I call the doctor, and they don't answer. And I leave a message. And then I'm like, I can't wait. I'm like, I can't wait any longer. So I'm just going to have to go to urgent care. Which, for those of you that don't know what that is, uh, urgent care is like... It's like a step between emergency room and doctor. So it's like they see you right away, but it's not the hospital emergency room. So... It's kind of like an emergency room if you're not actively dying and you don't have to pay a thousand dollars for a cup of water. It is a bit more expensive than like a doctor's appointment, but it's usually covered and like isn't a huge deal. It's honestly a, a lifesaver. Like we've been there several times and it's really nice. I like if you have a real emergency, go to the emergency room. Like it's not worth risking your life for money but if you can like if you know you're like okay but you need help now uh urgent cares are really nice so anyways i'm heading to the urgent care and i get a call from my doctor on the way to the urgent care and they're like we can see you in 30 minutes and i'm like or actually they said nice i got to uh they said, I can see you, we can see you in 45 minutes. And I said, that's great, but I don't think I can wait 45 minutes. So I'm going to the urgent care. And they were like, uh, well, we can see you in 30 minutes. We could push this other person back. And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I go to my doctor and, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to exaggerate this because I know there's a lot of people like even in the chat right now that are struggling with, with a lot of health issues that are way worse than this. So I don't want to like exaggerate and make it seem like, oh, you guys got to feel sorry for me or something. But when I tell you, I was in this waiting room in tears. I'm not joking. This, my ear hurt so bad, I could not sit there. I was walking around the waiting room and the lady at the desk is like are you okay and I'm like no <laughs> but I don't really have any other option so I like oh my god I couldn't believe how much it hurt I really couldn't I I don't want to say it's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life but in terms of like constant pain I don't know if I've ever felt anything that bad it really was like I was in tears it, it hurt so bad so they take me back like 25 minutes later and she says it's an ear infection like you get when you're a kid you don't really get them much when you're an adult but it was an ear infection but it was an awful awful ear infection she looked in my ears and she goes oh <laughs> She got, she got out the thing. She looked at my ear. She goes, oh, like, that's not a good noise. I don't like that noise. She goes, yeah, this is, this is, you got bad, <laughs> a very bad ear infection. So she quickly writes me the prescription and she says, go to CVS and grab 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and a thousand milligrams of um, Tylenol along with the prescription. So I go to the, the CVS and I am like, I am in so much pain. I call my mom and I'm like, can you meet me at the CVS? Cause I don't think I can physically go into the store and grab this stuff. So she meets me there and grabs it. And so the, the ibuprofen is uh, 100 milligram or what was it? I had to take it was 20. 
Was it 20? I can't remember how much it was. It, it, it rounded out to me having to take five of the pills, okay? So, so I'm like in my car and she hands me the ibuprofen and it's such a low dose. Well, the thing is, it's, it's like it's 10 and the bottle says to take two, but I have to take five to hit what she told me to take. So I'm sitting in my car, like downing ibuprofen pills. I'm looking around to make sure like no one's looking in my car being like, yeah, I'm calling the cops. Like there's like, <laughs> cause I'm just like slamming this ibuprofen, like, holy cow. And I remember I asked her, I was like, is five okay? Did I hear her wrong because my ears screwed up? Like, she's like, no, go ahead, take five. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I like slam five of these pills, go home. Pills don't help at all. I am in absolute extreme pain for the next three hours. And I lay in bed and I'm like... I'm sure I, I dozed off, but to me it felt like passing out, but I'm sure I just dozed off. But I'm dozing off like for an hour, waking up, realizing I'm still in the same exact amount of pain, and then dozing off again, and then waking up another hour later, realizing I'm in the same exact amount of pain. So that goes on for like three hours, and then finally it feels like it, it kicks in a bit. And I have just a little bit of, of like, relief from the pain. It still hurts, but like I can think again. So now I'm thinking like, man, I gotta cancel stream tomorrow. Like this is gonna suck. But I get through the day, I eat dinner, I take my, uh, I take the Tylenol, which I don't know why she said take ibuprofen first and then Tylenol, but that's what she said, so that's what I did. Uh, I took a thousand mg of Tylenol before bed, and that helped. I started to feel actually better, and I took the prescription for the ear. Went to bed, woke up, and today it feels better. It hurts when I, like, mess with it, and I also can barely hear out of it. But I can function as a human being again. So here we are. <laughs> and that was my Thursday. <laughs> it was a wild, wild day. I can't say I've ever been in the doctor's office, like, straight up moaning from pain before. Different kind of experience, man. Now I know that ear pain is one of the worst pains on the planet. Like, holy cow. I don't know. Like, I used to get ear infections all the time as a kid. I don't remember it hurting that bad. I remember it sucking. Because, like, the thing with the ear pain is, like, it just never stops. Like, it just it's just constant pain, you know? It doesn't, like, go in and out. It just constant, constant pain. Same with tooth pain, yeah. Tooth pain and ear pain are like the worst. I've had some really, really bad tooth pain, but this was worse, man. It was really awful. I couldn't believe how much it hurt. Really, really terrible, but we got through it. We're here. I'm alive. But, but yeah, I went like all day yesterday thinking like today wasn't going to happen. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Hey, thanks so much for being your RT lyrics. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, what a what a disaster of a day! Holy cow! How's it going, solid? Do you think that's what it is? You think it really hurts that bad when you're a kid, but you're just a kid, and kids are like invincible.
Oh god, I can't imagine that solid. That must suck. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it for a minute. I was like, I wonder if... I wonder if this cold I got was actually the vid. And it just hadn't kicked in yet. And the ear pain was from the vid. But no. It was just a... An ear infection, weirdly enough. Um... So I have... I have two. I'm kind of wondering if I should, like, go get them, or if I should just keep digging until I get them all. I feel like I should just keep digging until I get them all, because it's kind of annoying to get here. So I don't really want to have to get here again. I kind of want to just get them all and then go do them all. That'd be the quickest way, I feel. But yeah, man. Heart goats out to all of you that are going through stuff as well. I know uh, we've had some interesting stories in the past couple weeks of people getting sick or hospital visits or kidney stones. It's been a rough early to the year for early part of the year for a lot of us. And I'm sure a lot of that stuff is worse than what I went through. That's just I'm just uh, fortunate but that's the worst thing that's happened. But man, it sure kicked my butt. I couldn't... This was not... It was so... It happened so fast, you know? I went from, like, I'm getting over this cold and I'm feeling great to one of the worst pains I've ever felt in my life in three hours. It's just sudden. Yo, RT, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And Darth, think about the 1500. And Kylie will think of the bits. And Bubbly, think of the $13.62. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Nice. Whoa! Darn, that would have been sick. Okay, I forgot to read that, but I think he just said I got them all. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about something else. And, uh... I didn't read that, but I think he said I got them all. Dude, toothaches are the worst. Truly the worst. Usually when people ask me, like, what's the worst pain you've ever felt in your life? It was back when I was a teenager, and I was, uh... I don't think I was getting my braces off, but they were taking off... I had a retainer, a bottom retainer, and they were taking off the brackets... And, uh, they had to use this little, like, rubber hammer to, like, pound it out. And I don't know if she was doing it wrong or if it was just stuck or she had a bad day that day or what, but holy cow. Like, the feeling of someone taking, like, a chisel and hitting a hammer to the chisel... And the chisel is right at the root of your tooth. Where, like, all it is is, like, that one pain receptor. You know what I mean? Like, there's no give at all. It's not like it's hitting the tooth and it's going through the tooth and then, like, it's just right at the root. It felt like she was hitting my brain. Like, it felt like the hammer hit the chisel and the chisel was actually in my brain. And she was drilling a hole into my brain it like shook my entire body i could feel it in my toes <laughs> i will never forget that it was so bad and like 
I also had that feeling because, like, you know, when I when I had the the ear pain yesterday, I was in bed, and I could like you know moan and like twist and turn and kind of like physically move to kind you know how that somehow makes you feel better like not really but it just kind of like if you activate nerves in your body you like kind of kind of moves the pain to other places or whatever just distracts you this i was like strapped down i couldn't move at all so and she's just hammering away bam 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 and i'm just like ah <laughs> There's just no relief from it at all. That was the worst. The absolute worst. I'm so glad I'm done with dental stuff. At least for now. Maybe when I'm old I have to do dental stuff again. It's near a city where the night never ends. That be Bermesia. Or would it be Trena? I suppose it would be Trena. I suppose it would be Las Vegas. Ryan. I do recommend 9, but it's not for everyone. It's kind of a callback to the OG Final Fantasy, so if you like the OG Final Fantasies, you'll like it. If you only like newer Final Fantasies, then maybe not. But this game used to be my second favorite game of all time when I was a kid, and it still is up there. I can't recommend it enough. So here's Treno. Looking for Is it that? Yeah, it's this. Some chocobo tracks. You heard we're getting Final Fantasy 7 Part 2 this year? Oh, news this year. Potentially. For a second I thought you were saying we're getting it this year. I was like, man, your... <laughs> your news source sucks. You need a new one. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? This is totally not fake news.com. <laughs> the onion. the second blue chocobo chest I've found. I wonder if you don't have to find them all. I wonder if it's just a specific one. Huh. Yo, Shotgun, thank you so much for the 42 months, man. And number four 35, thank you for the 49. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here. I want the red one. The red one's so cool. Wanderer, we await your return. Yes! I got a red chocobo! I didn't know the mountain chocobo in this game was red. This is my new favorite chocobo. Choco, you now have the ability to climb mountains. You're heading towards your homeland. Hurry home.
I'm excited. Check me out. Alright, should I do the other ones? Or should I just go back to the thing? has to be mountains. It can't be like just the shore. Yeah, I really like the Chocobo stuff in this game. It's been really fun. Even though I kind of did it all at once. Like, I did some of it during the game. But most of it I did all at once. And yet, I'm not really, like, sick of it. I'm still really enjoying it. To get a red one in Final Fantasy VII, you have to feed it a carob nut while doing a Kamehameha and Spirit Bomb while standing on one toe. Easy. Uh, alright. How do I do this again? Should be right here, right? But I have to land here and then go around. Yeah, I could imagine that the uh, the rewards would be kind of silly. If you did it really early. Do you know what's the worst, Lord Shadow? When you blow your nose and you pop your ear out? I did that several times during this cold that I had. It was the worst. <laughs> that is the worst feeling. Magic Man with the technically worse. Yes, technically it would be worse if your eye fell out when you were blowing your nose. Technically it'd be worse if you blew your nose and just fell down dead. That would be bad. I agree. <laughs> You're flaming red now, Koopo. That's all you have to say? You're not going to tell me where the next place is? Okay. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you blow your nose and then some guy scalps a PS5? That's the worst. Unrelated, but isn't that the worst? I wonder if I just have to, like, guess where the next place is. Maybe I should go... I should go here because that's the only one that I need mountain for <laughs> unrelated 
unrelated, but I'm selling a PS5 for $2,000. Anybody interested? So this says, what a beautiful sunset, but I can't see the sun. Because it's end game, so I don't know. If I go over here, the, the sun changes, so I guess that's what they're talking about. How am I supposed to find this with the camera being this way? Obviously, there's a mountain. I don't think any of this counts as mountain. I don't think I can climb this. Or can I? Is this it? This is it. That's it. 100%. Now where the heck are Chocobo tracks? In this area. Honestly, I should just explore this entire continent with a Chocobo because there's a good chance the new place is on this continent somewhere. So can I just... Yes, I can. there's something special in this forest because this is the only way you can get to it what the heck it's like inside the mountain iron man wait did i not get the card This game sucks. I already have an Iron Man. I have a really good Iron Man. in this forest more death sheep or something yeah it's pretty stupid that like you can only hold a hundred cards and there's exactly a hundred different cards that makes it really annoying to try to collect them all but I feel like collecting them all is definitely like a challenge thing you would do on a separate save file anyways, because I've heard there's a lot of missables. I don't think you could just do that on a casual playthrough. Maybe though. Oh, it's a million eyes, eight eyes, something eyes. Lots of eyes.
Yeah, don't worry. We'll be right back to the Chocobo stuff. Just a very quick detour to fight an enemy. Like this is a video game or something. Alright, don't worry. Back to the good stuff. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna select this. But I'm gonna search around to see if maybe the next Chocobo area is here somewhere. Okay. Is there a reason to go back here? got to be surrounded by mountains so you can only get to it on the chocobo and it's probably like a hole in the mountain or something that? What is this? What the? it up in the air? Steve. Yes, we're still following no spoiler rules. There's no reason for me to even... Oh, it's gone. There's no reason for me to do all this if people just tell me what it is. And we'll have a part where everyone can tell me everything later. So don't worry. There's my choke. It's the same way we always do it. I find as much as I possibly can on my own, and then we have a time when we open up and do everything. Okay, this looks suspicious. Never mind. 
Yo, Snock, how's it going, dude? been about a year and a half since we started, I think. First episode was... Uh... Middle of the year 2020, I think. Okay, August 2020. So yeah. A year and a half. Isn't that wild? We've been together every Friday past year and a half. I mean, we've been together the every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday for five years, but <laughs> at least in terms of Fantathon, every Friday for a year and a half. Starting to starting to give up on this idea that it's somewhere on this continent. Yo, lyrics. Thank you very much for the hundred bits. We could probably play some of these alerts while I'm just running around. Yeet. I checked the very northern part of the continent yet. Over here. There's some chocobo tracks here too. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Put it that way. Just happy to be here today. Yeah, we, um, my wife had a snow day today. Yo, Arco. How's it going, man? Thank you for the bits. Yeah, we got a bunch of rain and then a bunch of snow. So everyone was like, all right, we ain't doing nothing today. So I guess it's not on this continent. So I ain't seeing it. I ain't seeing nothing. Yo, yeah, think about a thousand bits. What's up, Marsh? You ever been cold for a long time and spend a couple of hours never feeling like you never quite warm up? Yes. 
you get chilled. You can't warm up. So I just finished the water chocobo, and I have the mountain chocobo, and I'm trying to figure out where the next chocobo thing is. So since I have a mountain chocobo, I'm looking for mountainous areas that maybe you need the mountain chocobo to access. I start on that continent because it had all the mountains on it, but that didn't really pan out. This has a giant mountain, but there's nothing at the top of it. So... I don't believe this is it. about over on the ice continent? There's a lot of mountains on the ice continent. There's the volcano, but I don't think that's it. What about over here? This looks suspicious. Oh, let's just get on the joke about some searching. <laughs> if we want to cook our chocobo, yeah, volcano might be nice. Uh, pretty much every day, lyrics. I'm on top of the world. Oh, this ain't nothing. Yo, let's go knock. Yeah, the volcano is the fire temple. Which, unfortunately, you only really get to see through cutscenes, but... It is a thing. You want some fried chocobo? confused as to why they didn't give me a hint. Here's a wall, but I can't open those yet. Because the other one, they gave me a hint. Maybe there isn't another chocobo forest. But then, how do I get other choco graphs? Something isn't right. Fitting resub there. Aaron, they give it a 41. Uh, Alright, let's just find the ones that I've left. I hear there's a sunken treasure near a peninsula. Sunken treasure near a peninsula in the southern part of the outer continent. Which 
Which one's the outer cot? That's the left one, right? Yeah. Because this is the forgotten or whatever. Bottom right's miscontinent, upper right's something else. continent or something. Man, I've already found so many treasures here, though. I've been here? Yeah, yeah. gotta be here somewhere. That's not it. <laughs> Somebody said, I think on last week's episode, you can really tell when Zuloff isn't there. Should do a new challenge. Try to do all this only using the play online guide. Sure, it'd go really well. This kind of looks like it, but again, not really. No, it's not that. It was just like there was a lot of spoilers last week. It's not the F zero tolerance. It's that. You just do it really well. on this side. Persona game? Or you just never played? Is it on your list? Yeah, that's why I figured. It's hard to keep up with Persona games, they all take so long to finish. Kind of stumped here. I don't really know what I'm looking for. it's this but this this doesn't look like it to me maybe maybe how the heck 
heck do I get here with a chocobo? I try my best not to spoil anything about Intergrade, so whenever I talk about it, I try to talk about it in generalizations because a lot of people still haven't played it because Square Enix is kind of lame. And they're like, PS5 or seven bajillion dollars, your choice. So a lot of people haven't played it yet. will say you'll enjoy it when you play it. It's really good. Unless you like hated the remake, then you won't like it. But if you like the remake, you'll like Integrate a lot. It's really good. feeling that I actually have to land all the way down here and make my way all the way up there. This is the only place I know. Like, there's a place on the continent that has chocobo tracks, but I don't think there's any beach to get into the water. Yeah, they had to make it as confusing as possible by calling the actual DLC intermission, but then the upgrade from the PS5 version that includes intermission, intergrade. So now no one knows what it's called. I usually uh, just flop between the two. <laughs> Sometimes I call it intermission, sometimes I call it intergrade. Yeah, naming games is not one of Square's strong suits. I mean, you could say that they name it, name games weird names on purpose to like, I don't know, be more noticeable, but... Like, there's the whole, like, Neo game having, like, all the numbers, and it's like, okay. I think they obviously did that on purpose to be, like, weird. I don't think I can get to the continent from here. Like, whatever, I kind of get that. But, like, I think we can all agree that they screwed up with Kingdom Hearts, like, 100%. 1.5-2.5 makes absolutely no sense. I still hate that name. It doesn't even do a good job of like explaining to a newcomer what the heck it is. Not a single person who's never played Kingdom Hearts looked at 1.5, 2.5 and thought, I know what that is. <laughs> I don't need to do any research. It makes total sense. Yeah, I don't think I can get there from here. And then there's 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, which even as a Kingdom Hearts fan, if you have any idea what that means, I salute you because I certainly do not. <laughs> and then, and then, Dream Drop Distance is called 3D. Kingdom Hearts 3D. And you think, oh, okay, it's a 3D Kingdom Hearts game. No, it's called 3D because it's Dream Drop Distance and there's 3Ds in the name. It has nothing to do with being 3D. <laughs> Although I think it was on, it was on uh, 3DS. So that was like the, that was the 
idea, but like, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's on 3DS, and it's technically 3D, and there's 3Ds in the name, called 3D. They probably thought they were clever with that. We're so clever. There's no way to get into the water from here, is there? And then there was point two. I still don't understand point two either. Because the whole idea with point two was like point two plus 2.8 equals three. So they made 2.8. Then they were like, we want to make we want to make one more game before three. So we're gonna call it point two. But that doesn't make any sense, because two point eight doesn't have one and two in it. So it's not like if you play two point eight and you play point two, you're all set for three. No. You missed the two most important games in the series. So that doesn't even make sense. And on top of that, point two is the game that happens right before three. So it's like, how is it that close to three, but it's called point two? <laughs> Does that make any sense? What is going on? Okay, man. Think of a thirty-nine. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's all over the place. All right, I'm so lost right now. I don't know. I think that one peninsula might have been it, but I don't see any beach that I can use. Unless like this can get there. This doesn't even have chocobo tracks. This does. Maybe I can get there from here. I kind of doubt it, though. Yo, TRS, thank you so much for the 11 months. 